Hi, Ankit. How are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing fine. How are you, Nasima? I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. Welcome to this session. Thank you once again for giving your precious time. No, actually, you know, I got, uh, actually, I just have to say that uh, this time in four, there are actually a group of five to six people. You know, we are divided into groups of five and six people. So actually from our group, only two people got to get up, got to be a part of this series and being one of those. So I personally thank you that, you know, you think that, you know, I was capable enough to get on and be a part of this session. A pleasure completely. So let's start, Ankit. To start with, uh, how was your uh, experience being in this mini internship program? Share some of your experience. Yeah, so uh, before I go on and share my experience, I would just like to mention that, you know, I'm a fresher before I joined my MBA in Ford School of Management with no prior experience, work experience, internship experience, so whatsoever. So this internship that I'm doing with Pulit is currently going on is actually the first time I have, you know, stepped into a professional role of or accustomed to, you know, being assigned tasks, getting them done, then receiving the feedbacks and then getting on with something new, something different each week. So, uh, and what a way to start, I mean, I must say, I mean, I mean, I couldn't, I don't think I could have asked for a better start to my professional career because this internship, of course, you know, from a, if we talk from a professional sense, it was very competent, you know, it was very enriching. But the best thing which for me was that how it helped me to ease myself into whole this internship program. I'll give you an example. So in the first week, one of our tasks was to uh, undertake a competitive analysis or SWOT analysis of Pulit with respect to its competitors. Now, fast forward week three, we are creating a marketing campaign for the company. So as you can see that the experience started with something basic and general to something more specific and more critical to the success of the company. So you can see that how Pulit helps its interns to first get familiar with the organization and then go on and, you know, okay, now you suggest something which you think we can do better. So that was a single most, uh, I, I would say, astonishing thing for me. And I would also like to add that the person of contact for me throughout this internship for the from the organization was Yukti. I mean, I'm sure you must know her. And she was so very professional and so helpful and, you know, accepting to all kinds of doubts and queries. Yeah, you know, I have had a couple of doubt calls with her and she just understands, you know, whatever uh, my, my doubts are and she tries to answer it in in the very best way she also gives us those weekly feedbacks you know and you can see that sometimes she's like what have you done but you know she never sort of expresses it she's like okay you can do better so yeah she has that uh, attitude of you know for pushing us to do something better so all in all a very fruitful and enriching experience for me I'm glad to know that uh, your journey so far has been uh, uh, quite uh, fulfilling, I would say, because you were not only learning, but at the same time giving back your suggestions, feedback, and things how uh, the product can be improved. And sure, the buck test and all. Yes, yes. Uh, with that, uh, as we are talking about the product, now you know the product very well in and out. But when you experienced it for the very first time, what was your first exp uh, impression? Yeah, so uh, actually uh, when we were selected for this internship, actually we received a mail from our college placement cell that you know you were selected for this mini internship. So first thing I did was I went on to Google and I searched for the platform. And my first impression when I saw the platform was that how much you know, logical and rational thinking has gone behind building this platform. For example, the if any anyone goes onto the platform, the the it, it's very vis visually striking. Visually striking in the sense that the color code which is used for the website is white, green, and in the app, the bullet carpool part is used as blue. So this green and blue, they are somewhat you know stands for that sustainable thing which Pulit stands for. So how they have correlated the concept of the platform with the color which they have used for the platform is 
just so amazing i mean i'm i'm not sure how many have uh, you know sensed it or noticed it but i did and it was striking apart from that i did use it spend some time on it and it was very smooth and even during my internship i did get on some some of my friends onto the platform you know that go ahead use it and you will have fun and they also said that not only during listing products just in general surfing they were you know more than pleased that okay this is something which we are doing in our country and it's and it's going on really well absolutely i i will agree with uh, you on that that looking at the website looking at the any channels of colet you will get the idea what it will be uh, about it it is in line with the goal of colet what it is serving yeah uh, ankit what did you find unique about colet which makes it uh, different from the other platforms uh um if 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 we consider pool it and if we have to you know strictly categorize it into one business vertical then we can say that it is loosely for now falls under the mobile commerce or mobile commerce industry and mobile commerce industry as we all know is booming right now you know it's so advanced with all the innovations and everything that's happening around it and you know sometimes we, if if i think of okay i'm going to start my own mobile commerce platform with this idea what i get to know is that it's currently already in place in some company or other be it amazon be it tata click be it anything so what i'm trying to say is the scope for innovation in this category with day by day is sort of diminishing but then up steps pull it you know and it does something new and innovative which i don't know about others i wouldn't have thought and the most striking thing about this innovation is that it that this innovation does not go into to assist the sale or the profit of a company you know if you talk about amazon and all the innovations that they they are somewhat related to generating sales and increasing revenue increasing the profit of the company but what about this innovation what is does is that it is from an environment and from a sustainable point of view so whatever the company i mean the pullet platform is doing is not to create a better tomorrow for themselves but for the entire world and that is what i think is the single most unique thing about the platform and yes apart from that uh, i won't bore you with much details because if, if you know people can go and experience it but the kind of features that you have you know that you can charge a price you can give them for free you can let the buyers decide what kind of price they want to pay so again this feature is something that resonates with the positioning of the platform as it is something which puts environment and people first and monetary gains of any means takes a very back seat so yeah so that is for me what makes this platform very unique you have beautifully sum up uh, how pullet is different from the other platforms and yes when one is knowing the product that well then only they will be able to uh, differentiate so much so i'm sure uh, many internship program you are quite involved in the program and doing well in it uh, but yeah. ankit uh, if if uh, i'll ask you that one thing you can do differently if uh, you re uh, restart your mini internship program now what will be that one thing that you will do differently mm. uh just now you said that i must have known the product in and out very good to give such insights but i would say that you know i, I initially mentioned that this was the first time i have tried hands on something corporate something professional and life of an mba student is not unknown to all you know you have so many assignments so many deadlines so one thing that i would definitely do different if i restart if i get a mini internship 2.0 would be to invest a little more of my time and effort into the mini internship because this was the first time so what so apart from all the developments that it helped me with it helped me to manage my time better initially i was like oh my god i have to do this i have to do that how am i going to manage this so somewhere down the line maybe during week two week three task i think that maybe the quality suffered because i had some deadlines or something but now that i have tried it i have some experience i know better 
how i i for myself can manage my time yeah definitely so that would be one thing to you know to get a little more serious and a little more invest a little more of my time my effort into the internships okay so basically you will uh, better manage your time so that you can get yeah. more of your time in the internship program where you could uh, deliver better quality in your projects i would just like to add that if if at some point you yukti watches this even she would agree that <laughs> yeah you could have done better yeah. uh, uh, ankit what is the one learning that you are taking home from this program maybe it would be the fact that this internship made me more creative and a better marketer because as i said during our week 3 tasks we were asked to you know create some marketing campaigns and some engagement for the social media handles of uh, the cool app so you know during that i prepared for a sales i pitched that to some of my friends and some people from other organizations got got on to use our platform you know and uh, again i used some of different websites to create some posters and something like that to improve and sort of increase the people you know on, on on the social media platform so that would be one thing which for me upskilled me would be to make me more creative and a better marketer apart from that it also helped me to look at things in a more objective manner as i said the bug testing part the competitors analysis part you know that a company is much more than just the numbers they throw on you in the news and what not you have to look into much more in depth to understand what a company is what what where it stands so yeah so i mean all that goes into making me a better manager for my future hopefully and there i i i believe uh, there was lots of learning in this just four weeks program yes sure uh, ankit so we are almost towards the end of this session but if you want to give a message to our viewers uh, please feel free to share uh so to all the people who are watching first i would say that if uh, you know if you are watching it for the first time you are not aware about the app and everything i would suggest that you go on to the website to download it from the google play store app store whatever you use and you know start giving towards the society you know and this app and this website this platform can be a very very fruitful medium for you because you know if you use it seriously for 10 20 days you would start believing that yes in some way or the other i am making a change and to all the who are watching it i mean i have not done this i would suggest go on get in contact and try this mini internship because it will it will in some way or the other benefit you and improve you and make you a better professional i must say beautifully said uh thank you so much for that wonderful message for our viewers and i'm sure when they have a look at this app they will understand what you are saying is absolutely true yeah yeah they will uh, ankit with that thank you so much for sparing some time and sharing your knowledge your learnings with all of us thank you